gonna learn how to paint! <laughs> Welcome to part four of my tabletop world build and paint. Today we have the mausoleum, and this is the mausoleum. I'll do a 360 for you. It's a beautiful little thing. This will be quite a simple paint, it'll be done in greys. I'll probably give it a black roof with a bit of weathering, and some weathering around the bottom in green. This miniature comes with some separate items to go onto the roof, which will I, I will add after I've painted the miniature, as it will make it easier for me to do the painting first without um, having these in the way. So I will come back and show you the finished miniature. Again, all the links to Tabletop World will be under the video. Because it's a small little miniature today, I thought I would show you a little bit of how to paint these minis. Now, I've used a stone grey by MSP for my base coat. And what I do is I do the stonework first. I will do the primer coat on these later. Now the reason I do this is because I'm going to add a black ink wash now. I'm going to use Nano Oil by Games Workshop. And I'm going to cover the whole mausoleum in the black ink wash all over the stonework. And that will give me all the definitions and it'll go into all the crevices and give me all the shadows that I need and then later I can dry brush the stonework and once that's done I can go on to the uh, tiles on the roof and paint in the iron door. So I'm going to uh, cover the whole mausoleum now into the black ink wash and then I'll come back and I'll show you the dry brushing techniques just to pick out the stonework and how to make a very simple but effective looking mausoleum. Okay, so the ink wash is all dry. Um, now we're going to use Terminator Stone. It's a dry brush paint by Games Workshop. And I am using a terrain dry brush by Army Painter. And all we're doing is putting some onto the brush, taking it off on your tissue, and we're going over the miniature. Very simple. Working on the corners the most for edging. And instantly you get a lovely stone effect all over your miniature. And because of the black ink wash, it's keeping all the areas you want dark. So we're just going over all the grey areas. Nice heavy coat. And because I haven't painted the tiles, I can overlap and don't worry about making a mess on any of the miniature because we're doing it this way. And that's the reason why we do the dry brush in this way. We do it first because then you can go over the tiles with what paint you want and if there's any mess with the dry brushing it's going to be instantly covered by your paint. When you dry brush in you're looking to go onto the main areas the highest peaks like on here and the sides and the corners the apex sides 
upgrades. Gargoyles. Very simple, but it makes a fantastic job. Because we've done with the black, it's given it a nice little gothic feel. It's got a nice gothic feel to the. Very nice. Super cool. So I'll leave that to dry. And then I'll show you the next stage. The next stage, again, is very simple. Um, I will be doing the tiles. And I will give them the inner coats. This will be a metal, the door. With the uh, brickwork, we shall be putting a little bit of a brown ink wash to some of the bricks. Just to give variation to the bricks and colour. And the bottom will be given a dry brush with green to give the mouldy moss effects going up the walls and this will give it ancient aging which will look very nice for the roof and the door I have added some mithril silver a very old hex pot from the 90s from Games Workshop and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put an ink wash over the silver here The reason why I've gone for silver is because I want to have a rustic feel to the roof and the door. As, as it's a mausoleum, it, I want it to be aged and look rusty and old. Um, so I'm thinking of old lead and tin type roofs. Um, so with the silver, what I'll be doing is adding the black ink wash, then a brown ink wash, and then I'll be going over with some um, weathering powder. To give a really good aged effect to the metal. So what I do here is I want all the ink to go into the top recesses so what I'm going to do is I am going to use a little pot to keep this on an angle and I shall use the black ink wash and just go down the silver so all the ink catches going down I want it lighter at the bottom. So very simple, I'm just going across. This way the ink will shadow where the shadows should be. Um, normally you, you would have um, your highlights on the tips. So we want the underside of the tiles to be the darkest. So you want the black ink wash to run to the tops of the tiles. You don't want it pulling at the bottom because the bottom would be a lighter shade. So we do this to all the tiles. I'm going to do this to the door as well. And then once this is dry, I will go over with a brown ink wash. That will give a rustic look. And then I'll add the weathering powder and that will just finish off and make it look very rustic. By doing it this way, as you can see, um, the ink is getting caught on the top of each tile. When that dries and you turn the miniature back over, you'll have instant shading under every single tile. Once that's dry, I'll come back and show you. So the black ink wash has dried on our roof. Now we're going to do the same and we're going to cover the roof with Agrax Earthshade which is a brown ink wash. So once again we're going to turn the miniature upside down and I'm just going to go over with the Agrax Earthshade. Very simple, just let it pull into the recesses.
and we'll do this on both sides and we shall do this onto the door as well. So we'll just leave this to dry now and I will come back and show you what's next. Now the ink gouache has dried on the uh, roof. We've had the black and we've now added the Agrax Earth Shade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a weathering powder by Forge World. This is called Age Dust. It is a dry paint. It's just pure dry paint and what we do is we use an old brush and I just push it on, stab it on and it gives an instant rust effect to the miniature. Weathering uh, paints are very, very good. And these are from Forge World. Don't need a lot, but as you can see, it gives you that nice rusty look. all there is to it. What I'll do is I'll finish off the door, I will finish the minute and I will come back and show you the completed miniature. So here is the finished mausoleum. We've got some Reaper miniature cultist miniatures just to give a sense of scale. These are 25mm heroic so we are talking between 28 and 32mm. I'll give you a 360 of the mausoleum. As you can see, I did the door with the same uh, rust effect onto the door. At the bottom of the mausoleum, I've also added the green and I showed you the roof. I've also stuck on these parts here and given them some effects as well. Very effective and simple paint on this one, but will look fantastic on any tabletop. I hope you enjoy my videos. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel and become a patron if you want to support the channel. Thank you for watching and until next time.